My team works on developing high-resolution microscopy methods by detecting single molecules. Brain tissues are particularly challenging for single molecule imaging because it's packed with extracellular and cellular structures. So we develop an algorithm to efficiently drive the deformed mirror to form different shapes and the shape is used to compensate the distortion. And also, we introduce extra distortions such that to allow this point spread function or the detected pattern to maintain its information content through different tissue depths. Now in Alzheimer's disease, one of the most prominent pathological features is the accumulation of what's called amyloid plaques. We are investigating at a very fine level the structure of these plaques to give us insight into the underlying biological processes by which they're generated. This system is a three-dimensional super-resolution microscope that allows you to look deep into the tissue while at the same time achieving six to ten times higher resolution than conventional microscopes. From our perspective, this is really important because we are able to see things we have never been able to see before and gives us insight into the biology. This method potentially could allow us to further our understanding of the mechanism of these diseases and potentially to find the cause of those. The reason why this is important is that in the last few years we've come to understand that the beginning of Alzheimer's disease occurs 10 to 20 years in advance of people showing up at their doctor's office being forgetful and, and having memory problems. This fundamentally changes how we think about treating the disease because if it starts two decades before a dementia occurs, that will force us to treatment paradigms to treat essentially younger people. It is very exciting to see these two teams from Purdue and IU work together extensively to develop something that is unique for Alzheimer's studies.